My head looks like a potato right now. Hello. <laughs> I, I'm planning on changing my hair color back to pink. If you didn't know, my hair used to be pink and now it's purple, but I'm kind of just over the purple. I had it for a couple months and so now I'm ready to go back to pink. I wanted to film my how I keep up with my purple hair video because I have one for my pink hair. So if you wanna know how I kept up with my pink hair, just go watch that. But if anyone wants to know how to keep up with purple hair, here you go. I just kind of want to show you what like my hair looks like right now. It's kind of all sorts of different colors of purple. My hair is a little bit, <laughs> I have a lot of different shades of purple going on, okay? I have a little bit darker down here, it's lighter up here. In some areas back here, it's like darker purple, I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. My hair is just full of many different shades right now. When I dyed my hair pink, I kind of figured out how to maintain the hair color and everything pretty easily and pretty quickly, which is really great, but for purple hair, it's a little bit harder. Um, I've realized because if I let my hair fade too much, which I don't intentionally try to do, but if I don't wash my hair with enough purple shampoo and let it sit long enough, my hair turns gray. And if that's the look you're going for, great, but I just don't really like the look of gray hair on me. There were also some areas of my hair that if I didn't let the color sit long enough, my hair turned blonde. But not like cute blonde, just like this yellow blonde shade and I just, once again, I didn't like it. I've had purple hair for like four months maybe. I've ha I haven't had purple hair for that long, like I had pink hair for a year. But I just wanted to share the stuff that I've kind of found has helped. Purple hair is definitely a lot harder to keep up with than pink hair in my experience. I know a lot of people don't use colored shampoos. I mean, maybe they do, maybe they don't, but at least some of the people I've talked to, or the people I've talked to, they don't really dye their hair colored. They didn't really know that you could use a colored shampoo in order to keep the color. I haven't been to the hair salon in four months and my hair's still purple. You don't have to go every one to two months to get your hair touched up purple if you don't want to. Like you can just do this instead, if that makes sense. So this shampoo, my hair, <laughs> My hairdresser, Alyssa, she actually went and picked this one out along with another shampoo, which I'll talk about in a second. This is what I've basically been using for these last four months, except this is a kind of a strong, intense purple shade. Well, not super strong, but it's more, I wanted my hair more of a pastel lavender lilac. I wanted my hair basically to be the color of my shirt, but my hair never really got to it. I don't know why, I think it's just really hard to get that shade unless you have a wig. It's just really hard to get the shade that I wanted, so that's also why I'm changing my hair, but I definitely recommend this shampoo a lot more than this one. If you saw my video talking about how I maintain my pink hair, I used this shampoo, but in pastel pink. So when I dyed my hair lavender, I, or violet, pastel, purple, whatever you want to call it, I bought the past, I think it's the pastel purple or pastel lavender, whatever one of this shampoo. Do not buy it because, well, it turned my hair silver blue, not pastel purple, which you can probably see in one of my videos. I think the video where I went on Omegle with Emily, I think my hair was definitely a lot more blue silver tone. It's because of that shampoo. Don't use that shampoo unless you want blue hair. If you want blue silver hair, then go for it. But also these shampoos are a lot more drying than this one. It was fine for me with my pink hair just because I use, I still use products to maintain moisture in my hair, but if you want pastel lavender hair, do not use their lavender shampoo. It's not good. What I was doing for both of these, which I actually just like how this one turned out better, but I was mixing both of these with a little bit of shampoo so I could basically dilute the color of it. If you don't use a moisturizing shampoo, you'll definitely be able to tell. Like your hair will feel like straw. <laughs> I honestly just mix these with like Pantene because it left my hair pretty soft. It didn't really leave it feeling like straw. I would just use random shampoo and I would notice that my hair would feel like the texture of it would just be awful. So I will say you can mix it with a shampoo, but just keep in mind whatever shampoo you mix, make sure it's just like a more hydrating one or else your hair will feel a little dry. Definitely a lot more with this one. This one makes your hair feel a lot softer. I wash my hair in freezing cold water. I will stick my hair in freezing cold water just to get it wet. I'll mix this with a little bit of shampoo just to dilute the color and then literally just wash my hair normally. If my hair is more faded, I'll focus more of the colored shampoo on the ends or on the fronts of my hair. Wherever I'm, my hair is more faded, I'll put more shampoo. That's just what I do. If you do want your hair a little bit more purple, like, I don't know. Her hair is more purple obviously than what I have, but my hair I feel like is just like really gray toned, so I don't really like that. And I don't wash my hair 
that often. I try to go as long as I possibly can without washing it. This is day three, I think. I'll usually wash on like day four or five. I usually can't go any longer because I just feel gross and I just don't like how it feels, but I try and push out washing my hair as often as I can so the color will still be vibrant or as vibrant as I can get it. The reason why I didn't use this one is because, well for one, it's way more drying and I just was like, eh, why would I use this if I can use the other one that makes my hair feel better? When I mixed this one with shampoo, it gave me a different shade. It was more of a dark purple, but I just didn't really like the undertone of it very much. This one definitely has more of a pinky undertone, I think, and this one, I don't know, I just didn't like it. It just wasn't the shade that I wanted, but you could still mix this with shampoo if that's, if this, if you happen to have this at home and you want your hair more pastel, you can mix it with shampoo or conditioner, whatever it may be. I will say though, something that did definitely changed my hair a lot, which I didn't use before, is this conditioner. Um, you can focus. I bought a tiny one because it's kind of expensive and I didn't know if I'd like it, but I actually really do like it. They do have a leave-in conditioner, which I've heard really good things about as well, but I just wanted to try the actual conditioner. I really like it. I feel like this has also made my hair stay pretty soft and healthy because I was really scared through all of this that my hair was gonna feel absolutely terrible, but for the most part, my hair, obviously it's not as soft as it originally was before I ever touched my hair, but it's still like, my hair doesn't feel awful to touch. Like it's still pretty soft. So I would recommend getting a really good conditioner. This one's great, or if you have any other conditioners that you know are, are really hydrating, like I would just, I would go with that as well as use a leave-in conditioner and a hair serum or a hair oil, that's what I do. I use, I talked about this in my last video, so I don't want to be too repetitive, but I use the Garnier Fructis leave-in conditioner, the one in the green bottle. And then for my serum, I use the Chi Silk Infusion. I just use those, I put them both in my hair when my hair's wet and just brush it through. Whenever my hair is looking a little dry, I just spray coconut oil in my hands and then rub that through the ends of my hair. Never put it on top, uh, well I mean you can, but it just will make your hair look greasy. So I just use this. And then I use just dry shampoo for days that I don't wanna wash my hair, but my hair looks greasy. And I just use the Tropical Batiste dry shampoo. Works great for me. I honestly haven't really found a dry shampoo that I like better than that one. Sometimes I don't like that one because I can I feel like it sometimes feels heavy in my hair. A lot of other dry shampoos I've tried, I just I feel like they don't do anything. So that's just what I use. One more thing though that I did do is when my hair was really, really faded. Like my hair basically looked gray, blonde, slightly purple. Like it just I didn't like the shade of it. I was like, I really need to just add more color into my hair. So I basically used these two shampoos as a hair dye, if that makes sense. So I used this one and I actually used this one as well because I felt like I just, my hair needed more color to it. So I added these two to a bowl and then I added a little bit of the Olaplex. I didn't wanna like waste all of it trying to make this mixture. So I just added a little bit of this and then I think I filled up the rest with Pantene conditioner. Sorry, I know that's not like supposed to be good for your hair, but it makes my hair soft. So like, that's just what I use. But use whatever you want. So I just had my shampoos, my two purple shampoos, the Olaplex, and then another conditioner. I just mixed that in the bowl and then on dry hair. I actually think I did this. I didn't show it in one of my videos, but oh, I forget what video. I was definitely filming that day and it took me a long time. Any, anyway, I did this in one of my videos and I think you'll see that after effect. What was it? Was it like a nighttime routine? I literally took my hair section by section uh, just started at the bottom, put that mixture in, brushed it through, and worked my way all the way up to the top of my head. It honestly probably took me like an hour and a half. Since I had so much conditioner mixed in, like I made sure the color was pretty pastel. I did not want it super purple, but because I had so much conditioner mixed in, my hair afterwards was really soft. I just let it sit in my hair for a while, and then I think I shampooed and conditioned. I could be wrong. I may have just rinsed out and then conditioned the ends of my hair. I don't know. I did one of the two, but that's also how I kind of helped make the, my hair color look a little bit more vibrant when I hadn't gone to the hair salon and my hair was looking gray. I just wanted to share that with you because whenever I dye my hair, or at least the two times that I've dyed my hair, I always look up videos like how people maintain the color, what they do to take care of it because I'm just, I really, really want to not damage my hair and so I try to do as much as I can to keep my hair as healthy as possible. Of course, bleaching your hair and dyeing it, it's gonna damage your hair a little bit, but I just wanna make sure that my hair stayed as soft as it possibly can. 
So that's just what I do to keep up with my purple hair. And the color is still purple. I mean, obviously it's just, like I said, I found purple hair a lot harder to take care of than pink hair for whatever reason. It's just, it can fade to gray, it can fade to blonde, it can fade to like blue, I almost said brown. <laughs> I tried it, I'm really happy that I tried it because if I didn't in a few years, I'd probably be mad and like regret the fact that I didn't do it when I had colored hair. So I'm glad I tried out the purple shade, but I'm gonna be going back to pink, I think in a week and a half, two weeks, I think. If you want, I can film that process again. I don't know if anyone cares. I don't know if anyone cared, but I did also film me going from pink to purple. That video is also on my channel. If anyone cares to watch, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can tell I'm not a hair professional, hair cosmetologist, hair care professional, whatever you want to say. I'm not. I don't know anything about hair, okay? I don't know exactly what's good, what's bad. I don't know. I try my best. But this is just what I do, so anyway, I wanted to just film this video before I make my hair fade, which I have to do, so that'll be fun trying to fade this color out and then getting my hair pink. So I'm really excited for that, but in case you were wondering what I do or how to keep up with purple hair, here you go. I hope it was somewhat helpful. If it wasn't, I'm really sorry. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.